What's up? It's episode number 21 of the Sellers Cast, and today we are talking about when to use free samples for lead generation. All right, so today we're talking about when you can use free samples. So you have a couple different ways you can do this. Obviously, you can do just a free sample. Give me your email, give me your address. Here you go, here's a free sample. Or you can do free plus shipping, which to me is a little bit safer, so you're not covering shipping, but they're still getting a free product. So in most cases, as long as your product is less than a couple dollars, you should most likely get the sale. But the real question is, when should you have a free sample? Question answered by... Um, good rule of thumb, if it's something that you would want to either hold in your hand or try out for yourself before you buy it, probably a good idea. Biggest category for this is food, 100%. It's absolutely subjective. People want to know if they like how it tastes, if they like how it smells, if it does something weird when they mix it, taste it, eat it, if it doesn't agree with them, if they're allergic, things like that. It's troubleshooting. At the end of the day, you're giving people an excuse to either really love it or just not be angry customers. Yeah, so we, we get this question a lot too where we'll have someone who's like, okay, I sell a candy bar. Like, I'm not gonna send them one candy bar. That's ridiculous. But like, well, Why duh, not? No, no. <laughs> but like, if you can like, Take a little piece and be yeah. like, here, try it. Yes, it sounds dumb because you're getting one bite. And you're like, why would I bother doing that? But in reality, a consumable, the biggest problem is that there's such a barrier to entry. That everyone's opinion is completely subjective about whether it's good or not. And it's, it becomes this huge issue. So you want to give them something to give it a try. Even if it's coffee. If you have coffee, no, you don't want to send them a whole bag. But if you can send them <laughs> enough. Send them nine pounds of coffee. Nine free. pounds of coffee. You're not going to love it. Um, if you can send them enough to give it a sample so that they can have one cup and go, okay, this was a good cup of coffee, I am going to order from them. For coffee, to me, even though uh, most people prefer ground or however, you know, obviously each industry, whatever, but if you can do the carrot cups, I prefer those just because A, they're easier to ship, B, Keurig is going to make it the same way every time. If yeah, you send someone the ground, like, you're like, oh, I don't have enough, and I usually make 12 cups every time I make this crap, so yeah. it's kind of like tough. Um, if it is something with user error, a good thing to keep in mind, send instructions or like, a, you know, an email with a link to a video or something. Like, give people everything they need to not mess it up. Yeah. But it's not all foods, because not all foods would do well with this. So you still have the issue of things that need to stay frozen. Yep. It's not worth it to ship that kind of stuff. Frozen peas. Uh, some peas. <laughs> um, there's something else, there was another one too that I knew wasn't gonna do well and I forgot it, but we'll come back if I remember it. But mm -hmm. the thing you have to remember is that if you can give them a free sample, you're, you're reducing that barrier to entry. So you're allowing them to come in and try it out. Now, there's more than just foods. Sometimes you can send, um, like, uh, I don't want to say like that. swatches, but like, uh, no, I meant for clothes. For uh -oh. clothes, you can send like a fabric, like not literally the shirt. Be like, if you're unsure that how this shirt feels, we'll send you this little thing so you can Jeez. try it out. Maybe you want to do that. Clothes are a real big pain selling online just because people want to try them on and maybe it fits well, maybe it doesn't. Fit is another day for another episode, but, um, Skincare, makeup, anything like that. If yeah. you can send like a teeny little blister pack or something, they might be a little bit expensive to get produced, but like Andrew said, reducing a barrier to entry. Yeah. That's the goal. Nutrition is tough just because you can't really, it's gonna be dependent on nutrition, right? So if one of the biggest issues of your product is all of my competitors taste really bad or uh, it's a fish oil and it has a fishy smell kind of thing. Like then yes, maybe you want to send them an example they can test that out. But if it's like a daily vitamin, like they're not going to wake up and be Superman and be like, oh my God, this is great. <laughs> but if it's uh, sports nutrition, then you have like pre-workout is great because they get an immediate result or they feel it at least. Um, protein, they always complain whether it tastes good or it tastes bad, so obviously that still kind of falls under like a food consumable kind of thing. Anything with immediate results. So if you're selling, I don't know, like hair vitamins that take 30 days to see results, unless you're going to send people a 30 day supply, you will not see any kind of benefit yeah. from this. And I wouldn't be afraid from a uh, order it now and try it for 30 days before you get charged. That tends to be that's the very, biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. I know it's kind of a sort of free sample. I guess you're, you're sampling it for free, but you're being forced to return it if you don't like it. But you'd be surprised how many people go, you know what, it's okay. I just don't want to deal with returning it. So yeah. I got the sale. Has anyone 
I ever done that with a mattress in their entire life? Those I things know, always make me laugh. I know that too. Who Casper, you are a liar. They're liars. No one is going to go through the trouble of shipping a mattress back. If anyone has ever done that, please comment. I swear to God, I'll Venmo you $4. Like, someone tag, crazy. someone comment, we're getting please. on top of it. Someone comment in here a video of someone putting a Casper mattress back in the box. We're here I want to see that happen. <laughs> anyway. Um, there's, uh, what else? There's another one. Uh, liquid, you can totally do, just do smaller bottles. Like, I know it's like, oh, we have to pay for that, we have to do this, but the biggest issue you always have, especially when you're just starting out with consumables, is that no one wants to try it because no one's ever heard of it. So you have to get case studies, you have to get proof of someone trying it, you have yeah. to build reviews, you have to go through that whole process. You might even be able to get a bunch of reviews from people that have sampled it but haven't purchased it yet. You can ask them for reviews. Just because they haven't tried the whole product doesn't mean that they don't have an opinion about it. Exactly. So it's giving you the opportunity to build up case studies, to build up market research, to actually get some idea about what the customer is saying. And free samples, the biggest issue is like, oh, my product's hard to ship or it's going to get expensive to ship. But don't always look at this is how much my product costs and this is how much it costs to ship and this is what I'm making and I'm losing money on that. Look at it as this is what it costs, this is what it costs to ship, but what else What else am I getting besides that? Maybe you're getting a review if they like it. Maybe you're getting uh, send it to social influencers, send that stuff to them for free. That's again, that's another video for another day. Email addresses. Um, yeah, there's a ton of extra things out there. So there's a ton of ways to offer free samples. If you think that you have a product that you can't offer a free sample for, comment below. <laughs> I, I will challenge you on that. There's always something that you can do to reduce that barrier to entry, which is always the biggest problem. Yeah, so we always feature a product, uh, software thing. So today, um, we featured Privy before, but I'm gonna feature them again just because we use them for this. Uh, or any pop-up out there. Sorry, Privy, for belittling you just a little bit, but still, you can use any pop-up out there to actually have like a, hey, thinking of trying this product, give it a sample first and we'll send you one. Sometimes people go, no, I don't wanna go through waiting a week or two, but Privy's a great way to pop up, especially if they've been on the page for 10, 15 seconds and they haven't made a decision yet, but we suggest using Privy. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining us. Of course, comment below if you want us to talk about anything at all. Uh, let us know what you're thinking about. Um, and then we will see you all next week. How are we going?